Hey guys, I'm on Bliss Data and welcome to a new review. This time we got Arrow Season 1 Episode 14, The Odyssey. This was an amazing episode of Arrow. Great, 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 great. Let's let's go for one more great, great episode of Arrow. I have to say overall, this has to be my favorite episode out of every episode so far. So out of the 14 episodes of Season 1, man, this was it. Oh, and just on the bright side of things... Arrow has been renewed for season two, so the show's gonna keep on, and my reviews are gonna keep on. So that's pretty awesome. I'm, I'm really glad they're actually renewing it. But before I get into this review, just want to let you guys know that this review does contain spoilers. If you do not want to know what happens, go watch the episode and come running back to this review. So anyway, let's get started. Um, just before I really uh, start going with this, I just want to clear up that. Uh, Slade Wilson is where we left off in the flashbacks in the previous episode. He is the actual Deathstroke. In the comics, Deathstroke, his actual name in the comics is Slade Wilson. That's the guy that Oliver met in the crash plane, the one that's kind of helping him out. He is the real Deathstroke. The Deathstroke that we've seen at the camp that was torturing Oliver, well, he's a, he's a different Deathstroke. He's part of like the same clan, I guess you can say as the, you know, legit Deathstroke. So, yeah, just just to clear that up, I just want to put that out there so everyone knows before, uh, you know, because no one will get confused or nothing, but, yeah. All right, so let's get right into this review. Basically, we jump in right where we left off. Arrow has bursted into um, um, Oliver's mom's office and is kind of questioning her as Arrow, kind of beat up everyone, smashed through the glass, classic comic book stuff, and basically, you know, you failed the city, blah, 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 his usual, you know, thing he <laughs> says when he takes down people, and basically, Oliver's mother basically says, wait, don't kill me, blah, 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 I have kids, uh, and basically, Arrow just asks her, where's Walter, so, um, and she actually says, I don't know, so, she, I, you know, it's true, though, that she actually doesn't know where Walter is, even though she's part of it, and Oliver's not fully aware that she is part of it, um, she actually is telling the truth there. She really doesn't know where Walter is. Um, but in the same sense, um, she is still kind of lying. But anyway, before Arrow kind of does guts his way with his own mother, she basically says, don't kill me, I have kids, blah, blah, blah. And that kind of puts Oliver down and says, you know what, this is my mother. So I think he stands down and lets his guard down for a second. And she turns around, grabs a gun, shoots him. And Arrow is down at this point. You know, he got shot directly, like right in front of him, point blank range. It's gonna hurt. So basically, he doesn't really have any options at this point. So what does he do? He jumps in the back of the IT girl's car. And the IT girl's the one that's been helping him throughout a couple episodes now. Um, he goes to her when he needs something figured out or analyzed. One time he brought a computer. He brought the Vertigo to her once. He jumps in her car. So then she comes into the car and basically says... What the? And Arrow's in the back. She's all surprised. And basically, Oliver reveals that he's Arrow to her and tells her to drive her to their little Arrow cave, whatever, you know. So, anyway, so they bring her. They bring her. She brings uh, Oliver back to his little base. And basically, John takes him out, puts him down on a, like a flat uh, bed thing. And then they begin operating and stuff because John has some army medical training. But, you know, not a lot, not enough that he's, like, um, like a doctor, but he has enough that he knows what he's gonna, he needs to do. So, basically, they start doing that, and they even have another explanation for why they have extra blood. Oliver's actually been stocking up on blood for a rainy day like this. So, it's kind of, you know, they covered all their bases here, and, you know, it's not some kind of stupid qu thing. Oh, yeah, look, some blood! Like, you know, like, they actually have a good, legitimate reason why they have extra blood from it for him. Anyway, I like to call this episode the flashback episode because basically after that, there really isn't a lot in the present. It's basically the whole episode's basically in the past. And I like how they did this because it really symbolizes that, well, Oliver's kind of unconscious right now. So, our, like, we're basically watching his memories as he's unconscious. And that's kind of like what I like to think about this episode. And I, I, when when they do something like that, it's, it's really cool because it makes you think and it kind of pulls it into the actual... Th present so it's really cool how they pulled off this basically flash uh, flashback episode but anyway I, I love the flashback so yes flashback episode I, I think next episode should be, a, should be a flashback episode too but anyway we go back into the flashback and basically Slade is training Oliver and they only have 10 more days to basically reach the um, 
the place they need to go and basically take down everyone and board a plane that's going to land there and get off the island. So basically they only have 10 days left and Slade basically tells Oliver you only need, have to do one thing this whole time and you have to take out the guard tower. And the guard tower only has one guy in it, and he radio controls everything. So if he finds out something's going wrong, he's obviously gonna radio in um, the like the you know the head guy there and tell him what's going down. So that that's all Oliver's only job. He has to kill that one guy, and basically Slade can't do it because in the guard tower it has bullet proof bulletproof glass all around it, so he can't actually snipe him. And that's what Slade's gonna do. He's gonna snipe every other man except for him because obviously he can't so Oliver's gonna have to sneak in and take that guy out so uh, basically before they leave their little plane they head out and they're gonna leave forever basically because I want to get out of there um, Slade just takes out his like death stroke mask and just stares at it and you can tell something's up but then they leave and uh, yeah so they leave the plane say goodbye to your little place and yeah so Oliver then this is a really cool part right here. Oh, they're walking through the woods, and they st Oliver accidentally steps on a mine. And this mine's left over from World War II, and it's still active. So he has his foot on the trigger, and if he moves or anything, it'll blow up. And right when he steps on it, um, Slade sees some sh shoulder... Sl I is this episode I can't talk? Sorry, guys. Uh, Slade sees some soldiers walking toward them, and basically he says... Well, I'm, I'm out of here. They're just going to see you. So he, Slade, runs into the bushes. Oliver puts on his soldier mask that he stole from the dead guy, the dead soldier, a couple episodes back. So he looks like a soldier now. So uh, then the soldiers come up, and they basically tell him, oh, you know, what happened? You know, get out, get to your post, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I'm on a mine. I can't move, blah, blah, blah. So then one of the coolest parts in the whole thing, Slade jumps out of the bushes, and he kills all the men. They're all in a circle in, like, one motion with his blade. It was really sick. I, I don't know. Just the way they shot it, it just looked awesome. That like he killed, like, a bunch of people one shot. Um, then he basically gets one of the dead bodies, and he pushes Oliver off and rolls the body onto the mine. But luckily, the mine doesn't even explode, so it, it was obviously inactive. But, uh, yeah, it was pretty cool he see, saw how he rolled the body on. So, I don't know if that would work, though, because I think he would get hurt, too. Because I, I think it would, the blast would go through the body, too. But, anyway. Other than that, the head guy that's running this whole operation, the one that ordered the original Deathstroke to torture Oliver, he's talking <coughs> with uh, Yao Fei, the, the mysterious man that was helping, helping Oliver in the beginning. And, uh, basically, it looks like Yao Fei is basically part of his organization now he's a bad guy um but anyway that guy's talking to him and he's basically saying he wants to train all the men there with the bow uh, with compound bows because he said well you know at first i seen you running around with this bow and i thought you were it looked stupid and ineffective now i see what you did with it i want you to train all my men so you know that says something that maybe the bow is more powerful than the gun so that, that's kind of cool but i still think it's unfair gun i think would still win unless you're like crazy accurate with the bow i guess but i don't know still anyway so he wants him to trade and he, he kind of, he's hesitant. Yalfei's kind of hesitant. He doesn't really want to do it. And basically he says, don't do it for you. Do it for your, her fate. So now we know that Yalfei is doing this for someone. And it's obviously uh, her because he said her. And we later find out later, later in the episode that it's actually his daughter. So he's actually obeying orders. He doesn't actually want to do this. He's trying to save his daughter. And we'll get more into that later on. But anyway... Um, other than that, we find out that Deathstroke, we, we already kind of knew this, but Deathstroke is, uh, Slade's partner, and basically his name's Billy, and they, they were very good friends, and Billy was actually Slade's, uh, daughter's godfather, so they were very close, but he said, you can't trust anyone, look what he did, he turned to the other side, just like that, um, so... Yeah, anyway, then they get to the base that, that they have to go to, and we switch back to the present. And the present's like two seconds, but um, basically John and the IT girl start operating on Oliver, and things aren't looking very good, but they still have hope, and that's when the commercials fly. I don't know why, but th this show kind of has a lot of commercials, I have to say, but the commercials are really short, so I'm pretty sure it's the same amount of commercials as a normal show, so they're breaking up, broken up more, I, I don't know, maybe that's just me. Anyway, back to the flashback, the flashback episode. Um, so, uh, now they're at the base, the guard tower and everything that they gotta basically uh, take over. Slade starts sniping the men. He's taking them out like a boss. 
and Oliver goes in for the kill, for the only kill he has to do on the guard tower guard. And he basically creeps up and opens the door very slowly, and um, then we just see Slade going crazy with the sword. I mean, every scene with Slade with the sword is just ridiculous. It's so cool. But, uh, yeah, so he just takes down a bunch of men with his sword. He's just, like, jumping around, doing all this stuff. So, so cool. Um, anyway, so after that, basically... Um, Oliver uh, slips on killing the guard, he kind of messes up, and then the guard has a gun to Oliver's head, so it looks pretty grim at this point, we don't know what's going to happen, flashback to the present, uh, again, so now, like, it's funny, because the present seems like the flashbacks in this episode, I just found that hilarious, but anyway, so now we're in the present, and basically Oliver's heart uh, stops, and it looks like he's going to die, but they get a defibrillator, I don't know if I pronounced that right, and they, you know, clear, poof, so they brought him back, and it looks like he's okay, but it's still kind of sketchy if he's going to live or not. Back to the real episode, the flashbacks, and basically Slade comes in and saves Oliver. He stabs his sword right through the guard. You see the, the bloody sword go through, so that was a little um, gruesome for Arrow. You know, I watched The Walking Dead, so it's not as gruesome as it can be, but it was, you know, it was a, it was a step in the gruesome side for Arrow. So I don't know if they're gonna show more violence or anything, but you know, it's it's. I think every time they they kind of bend the line a little bit, but I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but we'll see. Anyway, the radio goes off. At this point, they basically have the base. Every man, every guard is dead at this point. They have the base, but the radio goes off, and they sent in a riddle to see if the the people that are talking to him, which is Slade, is actually one of the guards. And Slade has no clue what the riddle is. He doesn't know how to answer it at all. But, luckily, Oliver actually knows what the quote is. It's a quote from a book called The Odyssey, and that's where this episode gets the title, The Odyssey. And I just love how everything ties in in this episode. There's so much action. The story goes developed so far in this episode, and that's what makes a great episode. Just such a great blend of story, action, and just, like, bloody battles, I guess. But, really, really awesome. So, anyway... He uh, figures out the quote and he tells Slade to say it, and it turns out to be right. Um, so um, he actually figured out the riddle. So he does prove useful because at this point he's not really Oliver's not trained that much, so he can't really fight that good. So it was cool that he actually got to do something. But anyway, before they leave, the plane is coming very soon to, to pick up everything, right? So they want to board the plane. Oliver says, "You know what? I want to go save." Uh, Yao Fei, he wants to go save him, he wants to take him away from the camp and tell him to come with him. So basically he says, if I don't get back here in time, just go, and but call my family. And Slade says, okay, um, don't worry, I'll, I'll call your family. So uh, Oliver runs away as fast as he can, he's, he's running like super fast. Uh, I think they actually like sped up the film or something, it was going pretty fast. Anyway, Oliver gets back to the army base where all the men are. And, uh, basically, he finds, uh, Yao Fei, and he tells him, you know, like, I, you know, we can get out of here, like, let's go. He doesn't want to go. Yao Fei says, no, I don't want to go. And he says, for, like, what would possibly make you want to stay here? And he says, not for what, for who? So, again, we get hinted that he's here for someone, and, again, we find out that his, it's his daughter. Um, so, anyway, um, that, the guy that's a, the head of all this stuff, his name's, I believe his name is Edward, you you can correct me if I'm wrong, but he comes in and he knock he knocks out Oliver. Yalfe knocks out Oliver because he wants to still look like he's doing his job basically. And basically, they, then uh, you see Deathstroke too, the first Deathstroke, and they cuff Oliver and put him in a circle of soldiers like they did before when they, he fought uh, Yalfe. So <laughs> it looks like he's gonna fight him again, but uh, the guy says, "No, this isn't. You're not fighting. This is an execution." So, you know, it's pretty crazy, but Deathstroke comes in, and he's going to take out him, and this is the first Deathstroke, by the way, and basically, he, he Oliver basically reveals his past to, like, as Deathstroke's basically going to kill him, he says, I know who you are, you're Bill Winterfield, and that's that's his name, he's like, uh, I know your partner Slade, blah, blah, he's, he's trying to break him down, basically, and it doesn't work, so it looks like Deathstroke is going to kill Oliver, then all of a sudden, all these grenades, bombs go off, there's smoke, like explosions everywhere we don't know what's happening at all and this is the best fight this is what makes this episode it's, it was crazy Slade jumps in and he has a fight with the first Deathstroke Bill so basically it's Deathstroke on Deathstroke fighting it was a great fight like I don't even want to spoil it I just want you to go watch it it was it was really good but in the end basically Slade stabs the 
original first Deathstroke in the eye with his sword. And it, it was just... The fighting choreography in this was ridiculously good. So I would really suggest you go see it. Maybe there, it's a clip on YouTube right now. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe in the future it will be. But really, really great fight. I would really suggest you go watch that. But... And even when it escalated, he got stabbed in the eye. It was awesome. So it looks like Slade won at this point, and basically he gets shot in the arm. So, and it, when he first gets shot, it looks like he gets shot in the chest or something, and he's dead. But he actually gets shot in the arm, so he's okay. Like, he'll still live. So basically, uh, they basically run away at this point. And they find out that the plane is actually going over them right now. So they basically miss the plane. And the next one that comes is in three months. So they basically have to survive another three months on the island before another plane comes. But as we know, he already stays there for five years. So we basically know that he's going to miss a couple of these planes. But anyway, he takes he takes Slade back. Oliver takes uh, Slade back. And he takes the bullet out of his arm. So they, uh, you know, he sews him up and everything. And then, so they're back at the plane crash at this point. That's, like, their little base. And, uh, basically, they just need to survive at this point. And, um, yeah, so then we see, uh, Yao Fei, and he's actually with his daughter. So, he, you know, he's granted time to go see her. And, um, he, she's not young at all. She's probably maybe close to 20, maybe over 20, she looked like to me. So, something happened with them, obviously, but we don't know what. And why she's a prisoner, why he why he's a prisoner, Yalfei, we don't know. But we see a dragon tattoo on his daughter's back, which comes into play after. So um, we see the, a dragon tattoo, and it, it's kind of out of place, because we don't know why. It kind of just zooms in, doesn't say anything. We go back to the present, and basically Oliver wakes up, he's fine, um, and he basically wants the IT girl to be part of the operations now, uh, to be basically Oracle, like I said previously. They, they never say Oracle, but she's basically Oracle. And she doesn't want to be in. Um, but she did upgrade their computer system and everything to be a little more high tech. Um, but all then she agrees to this. At first she doesn't want to join them at all. But then she says, okay, you know what? I'll help you find Walter and that's it. Then I'm out. So anyway, she, so she's basically joining for a little while though. But I have a feeling that she's going to stay the whole time basically. Um, after she gets involved with it a little bit more. And then we get near to the end of the episode. And basically, Oliver is still arguing that his mom is innocent. And, uh, you know, him and John are yelling at each other. She's innocent. She's not. Blah, 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 blah. Little kids. But we all know that she's not. But I don't know what it's going to take to convince Oliver that she really isn't good. And the last scene of the whole episode is we see it zoom on Oliver's back. And he has the same dragon tattoo as Yelfei's daughter. So, obviously, something happens there. Obviously, they save her, and maybe she gives them the tattoo? I don't know. Maybe it's a sign of their family or something. I don't know. We'll find that out later. But great, great episode of Arrow overall. Out of 10, I would probably give it a 9, maybe a 9.5 out of 10. Really, I, There was nothing wrong with this episode at all. And the best part, there was no Thea. There was no all of her sister. That makes it a great episode by itself. Uh, but all joking aside, thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at UnblessedData. And until next time, peace out.